This is a video alert for you owners of older Mercedes Benzes that have these plastic tank radiators. Uh, if you look at these two radiators here, this one is from a 1979 300SD and it is metal. See, very strong metal. And in the very late 70s and early 80s, they went to these radiators that had plastic tanks, both the bottom tank um, and the top tank areas were made out of plastic. Of course, this reduced weight, it all probably reduced cost as well. But over the years, I've seen quite a number of failures with this upper radiator neck here. And when this breaks off and you're driving and you don't you don't catch it. You're not watching your engine uh, temperature gauge and your engine overheats, you can destroy the engine. And this has happened to quite a few people. Um, what'll happen is this will fatigue out and it'll just break off. And I've known people, it's happened to me, I've seen one break off in the shop, but a lot of people it breaks off when you're driving and it's a big problem. Um, I've done another video warning of this issue, but I thought I'd do an update because I'm still seeing this issue crop up and primarily the, the 1980s era. Uh, they improved the radiators into the 90s and it seemed like the, the problem uh, was, was no longer there. But what we did is we came up with a kit, a special kit a number of years ago. <laughs> oh, I dropped the, the key metal piece that will allow you to go in and strengthen this neck before it cracks or breaks. Uh, I do not recommend that you repair it after it cracks or breaks. The risk is just too high. But if you can go in and reinforce it with a metal insert, then that will prevent failure. If it does happen to crack, at least it's not going to come off while you're driving. So that's really important. I'm getting ready to take this old diesel here on a road trip. And one of the things I do, if I'm not familiar with the car, is I drain a little coolant, and I remove this upper radiator hose right here. Take a look at this. There's a couple, I think there's two or three reasons why these plastic um, radiator necks fail. It seems to be more prominent with the diesels. But take a look here, right here at this hose clamp. See how narrow this hose clamp is? Look at how it's squeezing in. And that narrow hose clamp tends to isolate the strain on that neck. And I've seen it always cracks right where that hose clamp is. So what we do in our kit is we provide a, a wider hose clamp. And that's going to distribute the load across that plastic neck um, much better than the original uh, factory hose clamp. Now, the other thing is coolant. Uh, the uh, chemistry of the coolant will fatigue the plastic through lack of regular coolant flushes and changes. And the other thing is diesel engine vibration. I see this problem on these radiator necks much more with diesels than I do with gas engine cars. And I, the only thing I know that's different is the amount of vibration that comes off the engine. So I'm just going to warn you, if you have one of these older diesels and you're concerned about its health and longevity, be sure and check this out you see any cracking, you're, you're, you're going to have to replace the radiator. And if, if you want to do some preventative work, then I highly recommend uh, you get my kit. It, it comes with complete instructions and shows you how to get in there and reinforce this so it will, will not fail on you.